Glenn, Dave Pond Cameron, we're the NC Beer Guys, and welcome to another episode of the NC Beer Buzz. We're on the Outer Banks, taking part in the OBX Festival coming up tomorrow, and we wanted to uh, visit Chips Wine and Beer Market uh, right here on Carlton Highway, or a mile marker five and a half, maybe? Uh, six. Six, okay. And uh, Chips is one of the oldest bottle shops on the island, and we want to make sure we stopped in here. Thanks, Christine, for having us in. Well, thanks for coming in. So, Chips is a, a beer market, obviously, and a big wine presence, too. And Correct. you have already volunteered that you are more wine than beer. That's right. So, that's great. Is the uh, customer mostly wine or beer, or is it break for even? Or? It's, a, it's a nice mix, uh, but I must say that a lot of people come in here looking for our amazing craft beer selection. Because you said you had, like, how much craft beer? We have over 500. Okay, over 500 bottles or selection. Selection, mm -hmm. right. yes. And a lot of that is North Carolina craft beer, too. We see all over North Carolina products that we know well. That's right. I mean, this whole bottom shop is just North Carolina mm -hmm. craft beer. So. And we've already seen some things here. We haven't seen any bottle shop in the last two or three weeks. So we're already successful in our visit. So why do people come in? Do people come in knowing what they want? Or are you educating them a little bit as to what they might like? Do they know what they drink and want to try something new and different? Or what do beer guys like to buy beer? I think most of the beer guys come in here because they know this is where they're going to find the best selection mm -hmm. and the newest newest uh, selection so they'll come in and their eyes just kind of light up and they grab a six-pack holder and they just you know stay here for an hour and they can choose and they really are figuring out what, when they get in here what they're going to take out the door yeah because as you said it's not like it's the things they can find at walmart no. or the bigger box stores Correct. it's local it's somebody's taking the time to stop the shelves and things that Correct. they know people can't get other places exactly and you of course also do carry the two uh the beer from the local breweries OBX yes. and Wheaton Radish yes Yes, we do. Okay, good. Are they big sellers? Do people even know they exist when they come in? Um, I would say people from out of town are probably the biggest buyers of this. Mm -hmm. Two beers, right. um, two breweries. But, uh, I mean, we have lots of beers from Asheville area as well, and people are looking for that. So, so we understand that the original chip is, is no longer around and involved in the business. So there's a lady who runs it. Owns yeah, it Laura Whalen. Laura Whalen. And Laura owns several uh, Several shops. of the businesses on the outer banks. Yes. So do you know what motivated her to do beer and wine? She was in the wine business. Uh, she was actually um, worked for, I can't remember the name offhand, but it's like a traveling vineyard where you go into people's houses and okay. you know, do wine shows and stuff like that. So she was always in the wine business and she wanted to get into uh, the retail business. And, and there, so she bought this about five years ago. And is there there's no concept where you just do wine and don't do beer? Or is there, are there some just wines to sell? You just know going into your room you have to do beer too? Oh, yeah. Okay. Here, you definitely have to do beer. You just have to do beer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. fine. Now, one of the movements that we hear more and more about, people have always paired wine with food, fine dining. But more and more, we think people are buying beer to pair with food. Absolutely. When We've actually done beer dinners okay. um, paired with other, you know, with local restaurants. We've had beer dinners where the food and beer And are the chef will come in and say, we're thinking about this kind of entrees, and you guys figure out what the beer might exactly. be. Yeah. And then you sell the whole package to the public. Yeah. And they come in and they educate themselves about the beer. Right. Office. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So that's expanding the beer market. Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. That's great. Yeah. Good. So we want to remind our viewers when you're in the Outer Banks, especially at Kill Devil Hills, Stop in at uh, Chips, Wine, and Beer Market. And see Christine if she's here. There's also a very special thing. You can go into our lounge, oh, good. get one of our six beers on tap, get a pint of one of the six beers on tap, and you can actually shop while you sit. Oh, so there's sit a while you shop. shop here. That's yeah. right. Good. Yeah, and how many bottle shops can you do that option? <laughs> that sounds right. Until next time, this is David Glenn, NC Beer Guys. Welcome you to another episode of NC Beer Buzz. And remember, drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.